So this is really random, but I have the urge to take an IQ test. Probably not an official one because I'm just looking one up. I don't know. I want to I wanna see what it says I am. I always did really well in school. I always got straight A pluses. I always kind of like thought I was smart. And now I don't really know if I am. I also just think I'm a lot more street smart than I am book smart. I think I'm like really good at like logic and common sense, but like quiz me about like US history and I seem dumb, you know? So let's, let's take a little IQ test and, and see what happens. I'm just gonna do this one. Let's see. A 50 seconds per question. What shape comes next in the seat? Okay, well that's, Really easy, A. At the end of a business meeting, four people exchange business cards. I have no idea. I'm gonna say 16, I think that's wrong. I'm guessing I didn't do any math in my head. Oh, I'm killing it. I killed that section. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna get a bad IQ and be really embarrassed. Oh gosh, I think I'm about to find out. I have to pay for my results. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, it's validating. Okay, so this this shit's legit. I guess I have to come back in two hours. I'll be back in two hours with my results, I guess. Oh, just kidding. My results are ready. 116, okay. What is the highest you could get? Oh shit, 228. <laughs> What's a normal IQ? Oh, between 85 and 115. Scores above 130 are labeled as above average or very superior, while scores under 70 would be compared below average. <laughs> okay, so I'm like right on the brink of being gifted. <laughs> Not quite there, I'm like, I'm one point above average. I'm 116, lovely. So I guess I have great verbal reasoning, great visual reasoning, terrible numerical reasoning, great logical reasoning, and Okay, spatial reasoning. Okay, I did better than I, I guess, thought. So I'm not a genius, but I'm a little bit above average. <laughs> Anyways, today I literally have nothing on my schedule. Today's a Monday, and usually I have acting on Monday, but it's Labor Day, so I literally have absolutely nothing, which is just so out of the blue for me. So I'm just gonna get a bunch of shit done. I kind of want to go to the beach and ride bikes, and then I think me and my parents want to do something fun tonight. But that's all I have planned, so now that I know my IQ, I can get started on my amazing day. Let's go. I got ready. I put an outfit on. I did some makeup. I'm gonna go run some errands. I need to get like body scrub and stuff from Target, but I'm also gonna go to Michael's. I want to get some Kratology markers. I don't know if you know what those are. I was introduced to this brand Kratology about a year ago, and they have the best markers I've ever used, and that's also when I started coloring was a year ago. I couldn't take the markers home with me, and I have not been able to find Kratology markers. I looked on Amazon. I looked everywhere, but I recently saw a video, and I think Kratology is actually like Michael's brand that they made. So I'm gonna go to Michael's and see if I can find some Kratology markers because those markers are so good. And I haven't colored in a long time because I don't want to color without my Kratology markers. So let's go to Michael's and see if we can find them. And then also I want to get Altoids and make one of my own little Altoids wallets because like I see them on TikTok all the time and they're so cute. Okay, let's do it. Wait, are you kidding me? This is the cutest Halloween decor I've ever seen. My mom is gonna kill me, but like, are you kidding? I need to get something. I knew it. They have a whole section for Creatology. I knew it. Okay, I'm about to get some markers, y'all. Oh my God, I want this so bad. Are you kidding? It's a mini fridge. Oh my God, is there a miniature stuff? What? This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I want it. Mini house for what? I don't know, but I want it. Just went to Michael's. I found the Creatology markers. I got the smaller pack. There was like a pack of 50, but this is only 20. I don't know if I need that many markers, but excited to use these. And then I got some stuff for my Altoids wallet. I got these cute little stickers, some bedazzly little jewels, these little like, what is this called? I don't know, but some people have these in their Altoids wallet, which I thought was cute. And then I also got some ribbon, some pink ribbon. So I'm gonna decorate my Altoids wallet with that. I'm actually not gonna go to Target. I'm gonna go to Rite Aid because it's closer and let's get an Altoids little case and some body scrub. 
because I need some body scrub. Body scrub is acquired. finished my Altoid wallet. I'm really happy with how it came out. It's super cute. I kind of made it like Paris newspaper old-fashioned kind of themed. I just put some cash, some keys, and a little Snow White figure, and then this little bottle of some Tylenol in here. Obviously, it's not actually that useful, but it's just cute, and I had some fun making it. So, if you want a little arts and craft project, make a little Altoid wallet. Super cute. <laughs> finished one arts and craft project onto the other. So, this is one of my many coloring books. That's really good, actually. I have completed some in here, but I haven't colored in so long, but I finally got the markers I used to use, so I'm gonna color a little bit and see if I still like it. <laughs> Okay, also I'm watching a Cody Co video and it's ranking frat boys by IQ. And you know how I got a 116 IQ so far? Three of the guys have an IQ lower than me and they're in college. Oh, I'm not worried about getting into college anymore. I have a higher IQ than these men. 112. <laughs> in second? I have higher IQ than that. <laughs> Of course I had to get the salmon, the Caesar salad, the rice, and the fries. My go-to order from here. The salmon is so good. Dad just coerced some random guy into playing chess with him, so that that's happening right now. Let's see who wins, my dad or that random guy. Just so you guys know, I don't know if you know this about my dad, but my dad is a literal genius. Like, he's absolutely going to win this. I think his IQ is like 160. Went to UCLA, is in Mensa. Just honestly a genius. And badass. And badass. So if he doesn't win, I'm gonna be highly disappointed. Oh, oh wow. I knew it. Hello, I'm with the fam bam. Go Dodgers. <laughs> We're going to a Dodgers game. I'm very excited. I won't lie, me and my dad are really only excited for the food and beverages. Yep. Gonna get a hot dog. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna vlog it for you, take you guys along with the journey. I feel like that's what I say before I go anywhere because I don't really know how to prompt you into what you're about to see. But my mom would like to show you that there is a clear bag policy and we're following that policy like the good civilians we are. I also decided to wear green to a Dodgers game, but I do have a blue shirt on, but it's not really like Dodger blue. I really don't care. I'm just here I for the hot Dodger dogs. Blue nails. Oh, she has Dodger blue nails. I don't know what they just gave me, but they gave me this. Let's go. Oh, yeah. We made it, y'all. I think Dodgers fans are a little we're standing in line to get food and there's just a man screaming in people's faces, let's go Dodgers. I got a hot dog.
I got some of these hot Cheeto fries. I've never seen my mom so invested in something. She's like really into this. I like it.